Hi guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, today I want to talk about the dirty little secret of home freeze dryers. And that is that there is a little bit of maintenance involved. Not much. Um, and it's not the freeze dryer, it's actually the vacuum pump. So the vacuum pump has oil in it. And uh, you need to change the oil periodically. Okay, this is what the pump looks like. Up here is where you refill the oil. And this is a, an, an indicator. Uh, that shows the level of the oil. So you need to have the, the oil between these two lines here. And then down below, right back in here, it's kind of hard to see, but we'll get this out. Um, this is the drain valve. So that's, that's where you're gonna, um, you're gonna open that up to drain the oil out and then use this to refill it. Now the big thing about this is Harvest Right recommends that every single time you use the pump, that you drain about a tablespoon of oil um, out of the pump and then that means you also need to refill and check that level um, to put that tablespoon back in and I'm going to show you why they recommend that uh, here in just a second but they also recommend that you completely change the oil every five to seven batches now I change the oil every single batch uh, because it's not it you know it doesn't take any extra time you still have to open the valve, you still have to top up the level, so you might as well just change the oil each time. Now I'm going to show you why. This is a container that I use uh, for draining the oil into, and this has a little bit of oil left over from the last run uh, before I put it into the filter. And I want to show you that, let's see, I think you can see that. You see the light color on top, that's the oil, and the darker color below that is water with some contaminants in it. Okay, so um, that water is what you're really draining off when you're trying to drain, you know, the one tablespoon before you use the pump because the water goes to the bottom. So that's, so, you know, hopefully that's what you get out um, when you do that. So. Anyway, now this sounds like it's really expensive to change the oil like this all the time, and it's not. Um, it's not if you have a filter. So let me just show you the general procedure here. First off, when you get your freeze dryer, uh, the pump box is going to have a quart of oil in it. And the pump holds a little less than a quart, so it sounds like you're good to go with this. Um, you're really not. You need more oil. Um, because you have to change the oil and you have to filter it and you're going to lose a little bit here and there. So um, anyway, they recommend this brand of oil, which comes in a one gallon uh, jug like this. And there's four of those in a case. It's about 80 bucks for four gallons. Um, but anyway, what I do is I mark, of course, that this one is an open one. And um, I filter the oil with this device, it's called the Harvey filter. And then once the oil is filtered, I put it back into the big container. And what I found is the big container when it's full, this is pretty heavy, so it's kind of hard to manage. So I just go ahead and refill this um, because it's a lot easier to deal with than an entire gallon at a time. So anyway, to do all of this, you need a funnel and you can get a set of four of these at Harbor Freight for about, you know, dollar fifty something like that. And that works out really well. Uh, so anyway, let me talk a little bit about this filter, and then we're going to get set up and uh, drain this. So this is called the Harvey filter. Um, and what it is, is it's, it's got a container here where the clean oil gets filtered into. And then it's got a container up here on the top, which is where you put your dirty oil. And then in between there is what looks like a car filter. And it is. Um, it's a special one that doesn't have the anti-flowback valve installed. Um, anyway, there are some details you can find on the Harvey filter website. So the idea here is when you've got your oil and there's a little bit of contaminant in this, okay, you just go ahead and pour this into the Harvey filter and, until you've gotten to the point where it's just below, the water is just below that 
that lip um, before it flows into the Harvey filter. If you do get a little bit in that filter, it doesn't really matter too much because of the way that the filter is designed. There's a, there's a little cup down here at the bottom. And so um, obviously any of the water is going to sit in the bottom of this filter and not flow back up and drain back into the reservoir. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get this uh, all set up and I'll show you the process. Well, we're all set up here. So the big thing here is, you see, this is where the valve is. And so you really have to have the pump all the way over to the edge. I mean, literally, you have to have the feet kind of poking over the edge um, so that you can get that drained and not spill all over your, your nice little cart. Okay, so the first thing to do is to take this uh, fill plug out. That'll let air in as you do your draining. Okay, and then up in here is this valve. And it's a little tight fit. You won't be able to see this very well, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that cracked. I tightened this a little too tight last time. Hold on a second. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, just open that up. And you may have seen that the, the first little shot that came out of there was kind of dirty looking. Um, that's what we saw down here in the bottom. So. Anyway, pretty much that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. We'll just wait for this to, to finish. And then you do have to tilt the pump um, forward to get the last little bit of oil out of there. So we'll do that also here in a minute. Well, it's uh, stopped flowing. So the next thing to do, you could just grab this handle and tilt the whole unit a little bit. And you'll get those last few drops out of the valve. Okay, the next step is to make sure that whatever base you have this on, uh, the pump is level, okay? Now, I've already moved the unit over here because the slab over here is level and the slab 10 feet that way is not, okay? But you can certainly check by taking a level indicator like this, make sure that the bubble's in the correct place. Do that both directions, okay? And uh, we're going to go ahead and put some oil in here now. I've got the funnel in position. We've got our oil here, and I'm just going to start pouring this in. And we're going to watch that level, that level indicator. And once that level starts coming up, it comes up pretty quick. So you want to really keep an eye on this, okay? And I'm just going to put a few more drops in here little bit at a time and basically the oil needs to be up above that uh, that center hole until the level lines up with those two indicators on the housing okay if you put too much oil in here that's not a good thing you need to drain some oil off until you're exactly at those um, at those two lines on the housing. And then the last step is to put the, the plug back on here. This has an O-ring seal, so just tighten it finger tight and you're good to go. Now what some people do with this oil is they take this and put it in the freezer and uh, it makes the oil really, really thick, but what it does is it freezes this water that's down here in the bottom and all the debris kind of attaches to the water um, I found that's not really necessary when you have one of these filters, uh, especially because of the lip on this container. It's pretty easy to stop pouring before the water starts going in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in the Harvey filter. Okay, now you can see the water starting to come to the edge here, and we're going to stop before that happens. All right, well, that's pretty much it. And there's the gunk in the bottom. Now, remember, this is actually two batches worth of gunk. Um, but you can see that there are some particles in there in addition to the water. Maybe you can see it a little better down here. 
Now to clean this out, I just put a paper towel in there to soak that up. Um, and then I throw that in the garbage. And then um, you can just wash that out with Dawn liquid detergent and hot water. And you're ready to go for the next batch. There's one other thing I want to explain about this Harvey filter. Um, since it's got an oil filter, the oil filter itself holds about a quart of oil. So the first quart that you put in to be filtered goes into the filter itself and you don't get that. That is in the filter. The second batch pushes that oil through the filter and out. So there's always one quart that you lose uh, inside of that filter. Now theoretically when you change the filter you can you know turn it upside down and get that oil back out of it but that's another reason why you want to get uh, at least a gallon and this particular company only sells that in uh, four gallon cases. So anyway now the, the other irritation about the Harvey filter is to get this oil now I need to put this oil back in the big jug and to do that you have to take this off. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Uh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, come on. There we go. You have to take this off. And you have to put this into another container. So then you can grab a hold of this and pour it. So there's, you know, there's a little bit of messing around involved. And, uh... It's too bad, but I certainly understand why it has to be this way. Um, so, anyway, that is the whole story uh, on the oil changing on that pump. Now there's one other little piece of info. In addition to the oil changes, once every 10 to 12 batches, um, you're supposed to do what they call a power flush, which is... Uh, multiple changes of oil circulating it through the pump uh, to clean the inside of the pump out. Now I haven't had to do that yet um, and I'll be doing another video when the time comes. I think that my cycle, because I change the oil every single time, I probably won't have to do that every you know 12 batches, maybe double that, who knows, but we'll see. I'll go ahead and do it on the regular schedule, and so look forward to another video in a few weeks when I've hit that uh, batch count. For the Epicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out. <laughs> what are you doing, monster? <laughs>